called black. Um, you can find this on Amazon. I think they have a, um, a gloss. They also have a satin. But what I wanted to use this for was some of the plastic pieces on my car. You can see after using some ceramic coating and, and back to black by mothers, I started to get this chalky look. You can kind of see it here on this. So what I was trying to do was just get rid of this gray. I mean, I've had this car less than a year and it's just after putting the back to black and putting the ceramic coating, uh, it didn't look like this at first, but over time it's just gotten worse. Uh, I have put this on, so I'm gonna show you what the other side looks like with it. And you can just tell, it looks almost like brand new. So got rid of a lot of the gray color. Um, I put this on the tires. It gives it almost that tire shine. I've used this product before just on the tires. And to be honest, it lasted months and months and months. So not having to put on any of the, the sprays that end up on the side of the car, this stuff works really well. So pretty happy with it. You can see this fender as well, just kind of brought the shine back. Um, I'm gonna put it up on these pieces, even my lights. I did do this front little air strip that I have to keep uh, bugs, kind of the bug shield, and it looks almost brand new as well. So here you can see a mud flap. These are from Mavit. Um, I had put back to black on here. I think the ceramic coating, everything just kind of started to turn it chalky and white. Um, you can go right here. This looked the exact same way. And now after putting this on, it's a huge difference. So. I did the tires. You can see now a much cleaner look. Something I noticed is that you're going to want to clean this tire the best you can, or you're gonna get some streaking in here. Um, I've used some other products on this. What I had was the graphene tire dressing from Adams Polishes. Um, I had previously put this on this tire, and you can see on this one, um, I've cleaned it really well with, I think three or four times with the 303 um, tire and rubber cleaner. And it's still, this stuff is not easy to get off. Um, I've been scrubbing it with brushes and I've let it go for a couple weeks without um, putting anything on it. Just cleaned it with water using the 303 and, and a brush. I've done that now three or four times. Uh, you just wanna try to get as much off as you can uh, so that this other product adheres. I would make sure you put some plastic down so it doesn't get all over the driveway or pavers. Um, you wanna also try to get in between uh, some of these. I've, I've used a couple different things. I've been using the sponge or the little thing that it comes with, um, and then using this to get into some of the nooks and the crannies. Um, coming around here and then filling in these spots. All right, so quick follow-up on the black product that I did use. Um, pretty good job. This is four weeks later. Uh, we've had multiple rains. It's been almost 100 degrees. Uh, but you can see the fenders look really good. The tires still have not necessarily a shine, but just, you know, kind of a, a clean look to them. And we also have the fenders. And you've got the mud flaps. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy. 